Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajian and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. A huge drug bust in San Juan, a shooting on St. Croix, and some serious problems inside the fire department. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. top story tonight, it was called Operation Heavy Cargo. Nine American Airlines employees from the Luis Munoz Marin Airport International in San Juan have been charged with participating in a drug smuggling ring shipping cocaine from Puerto Rico's main airport aboard flights to the U.S. mainland. Agents of the FBI and the DEA arrested 22 members of the drug smuggling ring, including most of the suspects who worked at the airport. Authorities say they smuggled just under $20 million worth of cocaine over the last 10 years. And now, closer to home, gunshots rang out in St. Croix last night. News Channel 8's West Mall has a report, plus an update on the suspect who drove through a police checkpoint yesterday. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Let's get quickly to it. We had two incidents of significance that we'd like to talk about overnight, both involving firing shots. We understand that in Peter's Rest, we had a young man outside of a residence. Details are still sketchy, and he was outside of his car as well. He heard some movements around the back of his car. As he went around the back of his car, he heard gunshots. And uh, what happened there was uh, he was hit in his thigh. We believe he was hit in, in his right thigh this information coming from the VIPD uh, this afternoon. Uh, then he was rushed to Juan Louis Hospital. If you know anything about that, you need to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS or, of course, 911. Then in Estate Grove, we had uh, an incident where someone outside of his home or in his home heard around six shots, half a dozen shots. As he went outside, he found out that these shots uh, had damaged his vehicle. No one was hurt in that incident. Uh, police are looking at that. If you know anything about that, come forward to 911 or Crime Stoppers. Now, we've been hearing reports that gunshots rang out last night in Williams Delight, but I've been talking to the VIPD and they don't have any reports on that yet, but neighbors uh, swear that they heard around 10 shots. We've even had a report that someone was submitted to Juan Louis Hospital last night. So far, we talked to some of the neighbors in Williams Delight. They swear that the shots did ring out, but the VIPD contends the only incidents of shooting so far is, uh, is uh, Grove and then Peter's Rest. Now let's take you to the aftermath of yesterday involving Michael Mirage. That was the young man that was on the loose yesterday for a brief amount of time as he ran through a checkpoint, a VIPD checkpoint west of Kmart. Then ending in back of Subway, you're looking at the pictures now as he drove that pickup truck into the bushes. He eluded police for a short time. K-9 and the dogs, they tracked him down and uh, remember, all of this because of the exclusive answer that he gave this reporter. Why did you run that checkpoint? No insurance on the truck. Man. No insurance? No. That's the only reason why you ran it? That's the only reason, man. Okay. For insurance? Wow. Now, let's find out what they got with search warrants at his house. They got uh, in, his, in his property. They got two automatic, two semi-automatic weapons. Crystal meth. Yes, a drug known as crystal meth, also paraphernalia, marijuana. And at one of the establishments, at one of the homes that he owns, we understand that he had been cheating WAPA. The WAPA meter has been going uh, uh, slowly or backwards as he has been growing marijuana on the inside of the home. All these charges because he ran a checkpoint because he didn't have insurance? Wow. All right, so that's that. Now you're up to date on that, what happened yesterday, and also shootings from last night. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. It's Wednesday. Let's check in with Wes Small with your Crime Stoppers report. Let's do Wednesday's Crime Stopper report. 
keeping it on St. Croix. Police are looking for the killers of 18-year-old Anthony Minto Jr. You might remember that. He was gunned down near a Catherine's Rest store on August 27th. His lifely, lifeless body was found on the road, and he died from several gunshots sometime later at Juan Louis Hospital. We need the killers for that crime um, to, be, um, to be brought in. Let's take it to St. John. Detectives are seeking the community's assistance in identifying the three men who robbed uh, the people in that apartment above Morgan's Mango. Remember that on September 3rd, three black men with machetes and knives came into the apartment and they fought with the victims. We believe one of the suspects subsequently was injured in that attack, so he could be wearing the scars from that one. Now, detectives are looking for information concerning the May 21st, 2008 killing of 21-year-old I'm sorry, of 19-year-old Anel Moraine. Moraine was found lying in the middle of the road with multiple gunshot wounds near a 2-2 basketball court on St. Thomas. We need to bring the killers um, for that crime uh, up to justice. If you know anything about these cases that I've mentioned, you need to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS, 1-800-222-8477. At Ann Schrader Command, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.